Well, welcome to Vintage Farmhouse Antiques on YouTube and an interesting teapot to show you this morning. Nicely moulded, um, rib walled in sections, quite uh, deep moulded as well this one, as you can see. Lovely shaped little handle, um, almost a, a Georgian pompon handle and an interesting retainer, quite a tricky one to get open. Double locking retainer with a single opening depression on the front so it has to be put in from the rear back but does mean that it's a nice tight lid shape of this one i've not seen before really interesting well conserved there are some glaze crazing cracks along the base they're only on the glaze though they're thermal cracks as you can see it doesn't go through the base at all which is marked with an impress mark warwick and an RD number 441297. So we're going to do some research on that, see what we come up with, and we'll put all the details in the listing. But it's the hand decoration on this one, because this isn't transfer printed, partially because of the very uneven surface, I think. It'd have to be back printed, really. But uh, this is all hand-painted decoration, so an individual piece, which is probably why we are struggling to identify it. But I think that Warwick and the RD mark should give us some dates and some information on it. Nice um, condition. There is a little bit of antique pattern of wear on it. A little bit of uh, wear on the handle here, but a beautiful, rich blue, uneven, again, hand-decorated and painted cobalt with uh, gilt lines down the side and uh, well enough painted. I mean, it's gaudy style, isn't it? Um, but it's a nice thing and a lovely shape and it will display absolutely beautifully. The handle again on the lid, lovely little thing with moulding and details just picked up with the, uh, the gilt decoration in really fine antique condition. Uh, we'll check the RD mark. It's quite a late one, but I should think this is probably early 19 hundreds um, but again the rd mark will give us the date the pattern was registered but not actually the date of manufacture all the measurements if you'd like to find out more about this fantastic teapot are on the website listing and we'll pop a link on uh, the youtube description taking you directly through to the website listing for this teapot thanks for watching